I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand linear relation with the given description. So objective here is to understand description of linear relation. We need to draw a graph of each description and write an equation. We are given two different descriptions for different lines. Let us go through the first one. It says line goes through 5, 3 and the coordinates of each point have same sign. Now, what does that mean? It really means that one point which is 5, 3 lies on the line. That is to say x value is 5, y value is 3. Let us say this is the point where x value is 5 and y value is 3. And it also says that the coordinates of each point have same sign. That means if x is positive, y is positive. If x is negative, y is negative. That is only possible if the line goes through origin, right? If the line goes through origin, then it is possible. As you can see here, any point, here it is 0, 0, and 0 does not have a sign. Any point on the right side, both x and y values are positive. To the left side, both x and y values are negative. So we have a direct variation. So in this particular case, we know y-intercept is what? y-intercept that is b is equals to 0. When I say b, I am trying to say that consider the equation of the form y equals to mx plus b, right? Where b is the y-intercept. Now, where so we are considering the equation y equals to mx plus b, where b is the y-intercept. Now, what is the slope of this line? To find the slope of the line, we have to do delta y over delta x. Now, delta y is this value, which is 3, right? So, it is 3. And x is this value, horizontal, which is 5. So, 3 over 5 is indeed the slope. So, from here, we know slope m is 3 over 5. Knowing slope and the y-intercept, we can write down the equation, which should be y equals to 3 over 5 x you get an idea so that becomes the equation for the given line i like you to go through this description once again and understand how we have got this equation for the given description now let's try to understand the second description it says a line is parallel to the y-axis passing through 5 minus 3 so that is to say that we have a line which is parallel to y-axis. That means it is a vertical line. Parallel to y-axis kind of like this. And it passes through minus uh, 5 minus 3. So 5 minus 3 means somewhere here the point is, right? So that is a line which is parallel to y-axis. Do you get the idea? Now in this case, 5 is our x-intercept. So what is the equation of this line? Can you write that down? Vertical lines have undefined slope. Since they have undefined slope, we cannot write in that form. That is very important to understand. Here, important thing is, at any point on the line, x value is same. And x value is equals to 5. So that forms the equation of the given line. So that is how we get equation of vertical lines. Vertical lines with undefined slope have an equation of the form x equals to something which is x intercept right so this value 5 is always the x intercept such lines may not have y intercept right that is very important to understand since they are parallel to y axis i hope with this you understand linear relations their description how to sketch them approximately and how to write their equation I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot from my videos. Thank you and all the best.